Welcome back in, Parker and Sipple, Lincoln Journal Star, Husker Extra. This is the two-minute drill on Tuesday, August 24th, uh, getting ready for game number one against Illinois and Sipple. For the two-minute drill today, we're talking about a quote from a video that was posted to Twitter yesterday. Scott Frost, Nebraska's head coach, obviously, was talking about the black shirts they gave out. And he said, essentially, the program was built on the black shirts and pipeline. And the journey that begins for Nebraska on Saturday has to be built on the black shirts and the pipeline. And you were struck by that I'm quote. Yeah, it was on the Husker account, on the yeah. Husker Twitter account. Why was I struck by it? Because it's sort of, it's sort of the head coach laying out a blueprint yeah. that it's pretty defined. You know, we're going to start it with the black shirts and the pipeline. Now, I was particularly struck by the pipeline element of it. I mean, I agree with him. That is where it has to start. And, but it's a, I, I think it's good for people to understand the, the head coach's mindset. And it's probably really good for Greg Austin to understand the, Greg, yeah. the head coach's mindset. Greg Austin being the offensive line coach. Um, so it's, it's a little on them. I don't know that it's. I don't know that Greg Austin would feel added pressure. My guess is he'd say, "Yeah, that, we want it to be on us." It's interesting because Nebraska up front, uh, that offensive line has drawn pretty positive reviews. I would say through camp, they're tasked with replacing a fifth-round draft pick and a seventh-round draft pick, and on top of that, their left tackle Turner Corcoran's dealt with some injury stuff. You heard a couple guys today reference the work that Brant Banks has done at tackle during camp. So we don't really actually know who's going to start at left tackle on Saturday. It's a young group overall. So do you buy that the baseline for this year's offensive line is sort of just to, to as a starting point to be better than last year? No, I don't. I mean, I, I, want, I want to see it. Yeah. I mean, I don't – no, I can't stand here right now and say they're going to be better or they're going to be worse. I'd be really troubled if they were worse. It was, a, it, was a, it was an offensive line last year that was pretty hit and miss. Yeah. Um, they got to be better in hit and miss, especially if your head coach is saying we're putting it on your back. Yeah. That doesn't say it's okay to be hit and miss. So, no, I wouldn't say it right now, but I think there's – now, I think that, that group has great potential. But, you know, what's that mean? Right. What's this potential? Uh, a hockey coach once told me that potential and 75 cents will get you a cup of coffee. <laughs> there you go. Uh, last Starbucks. thing last thing before we go, um, there was some, some talk today about the battles that those groups have had, the offensive line and the defensive line. What did you make of what Ryan Held and Eric Chenander said about what that picture looked like to them? Well, Ryan Held said it's been quite a show. Quite a show. Yeah, throughout camp. that th Those units are strong. I mean, you know the size. Nebraska now looks like a Big Ten team should look. That's a big group of men. Yeah. And the battles, I, I, they're intense. Um, Eric Shenander says it looks like college football. Yeah. It looks like college football should look. Kind of intimating that maybe it hasn't always looked like that here. So that's a good sign. It's a good sign because in the Big Ten, I mean, it's, it's cliche, but the Big Ten is, is largely about the trenches. 75 cents and some potential will get you a cup of coffee. But throw in a cliche. Put, put, throw in a cliche, put another pot on. It's game <laughs> week. We're steaming toward kickoff week number one. For Sipple on Parker, thanks for watching.